Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to talk about the importance of refreshing your perspective when it comes to art. Let's do it. So by refreshing your perspective, what I mean is a way to get out of a bad situation when you don't exactly know what to do and you feel kind of stuck. I'm sure we all have experienced this this situation as artists first thing we have to talk about is that as artists we have a very weird way of looking at things because if you think about it how much do most people spend looking at, at an object in, in a day um, maybe like a couple of seconds max but as artists uh, our entire our entire job is to look ex extensively at, at, at these objects, these paintings. And we look at them for so long that over time, actually, some things kind of feel distorted. And they can feel distorted in a, in a negative way or they can feel distorted in a, in a positive way. So we can see them better than they actually are or worse than they actually are. Lots of things are happening and it's just because like this is not natural to look at a thing and stare at an object for that that long. Make the test, take like whatever random picture, even like a picture of a, of a closed one, uh, of a relative, of someone in your family and, and just I, I, I challenge you to just stare at this picture for like stare at this photograph for 10 12 hours and you'll start to kind of lose your mind over this because i mean really 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 it's not natural and when you think about it what we do with paintings it's not natural it's not natural to look at something for such an extended period of time the first thing that's happening is that some of the mistakes we kind of get used to them. It's weird, but hmm, after a few hours, it's starting to work, right? Starting to work because I'm getting used to it. And the tendency is to forget about the mistakes because you look at your painting for so long. So what can you do? Like the first, like a good trick is to first kind of turn it upside down. However you want to do it, this kind of trick is going to force your brain out of, out of the, the, the kind of comfort zone that it kind of sits in because it's been looking at this painting for so long. Looking at this offers your brain a new perspective and, and don't think that looking at things is, is, a simple, is a simple thing to do. There's lots of things happening in your brain to give you a, a representation of what's going on in the world in front of you. It works like this as well. It doesn't matter really. The thing is turning it in, in a new direction. All right? So that's the first good trick. And, and a good thing as well is that you can still turn it upside down and you can still continue working. I mean, you have to force your brain to not do as it pleases and just just give your brain the direction in which you want to go. And the direction you want to go as an artist is represent the right shadow shapes, represent the, the right values, the right masses. You can do that upside down, you can do that on the side, whatever. Your brain should follow your, um, your lead. The next trick, of course, is to use a mirror. A mirror is an essential tool as an artist. You have to get a mirror so that you can change the angles and really it feels crazy, but um, you, you have to kind of give your brain, uh, you have to force your brain to reconsider everything. You have to constantly refresh the way you look at things. So that's another really, really important thing to do. Uh, what else? Another good trick, we all have one. Take your, take your phone, just sit really far away from your painting, take a picture of it, 
and, and try to get like the smallest picture ever, like really a small, small, tiny thumbnail picture in your on your phone and look at it from this angle, like it's going to shrink the picture and you're gonna see the balance, you're gonna see how the composition works. Another awesome trick that I like to use when I want to really refresh my perspective is to use a camera lens and I, I try to look at it inside from the inside. I don't know what you can see exactly from there, but it kind of gives you an upside down image. It kind of shrinks the image, distorts it a little bit, but it's also a good way to like kind of zoom out, zoom in on the picture and, and really focus on the picture. Another cool thing you can do is put your hands like this so that it kind of blocks a lot of the view, a lot of the angles around like the peripheral vision kind of, is kind of getting the, the thing within the context and your brain kind of interprets the entire picture within the context. So doing this and looking at your, paint, your painting like this is kind of going to force your brain to focus on some parts. So like, let's say you say, I don't know, like there's something wrong with the nose, just, but I can't figure it out like in the entire, in the entire painting. So just go like this and stare at it for a while and can work. <laughs> a good way if you have like uh, the picture and a model is to do that and go boom, boom, model, painting, model, painting, model, painting, model, painting, and go back and forth, back and forth. It's going to force your brain. It's, you're gonna look crazy, but uh, hopefully you're alone in your studio, so nobody's going to judge you. And also like a great thing to do as well is just take a break just take some time, uh, go grab a cup of tea, cup of coffee, come back, and when you come back, don't immediately rush into correcting everything. Just take, take a notepad and kind of write down what, what needs to be fixed. Um, I'll zoom in on the picture, and you can see that I have some corrections that are marked on this painting. I need to um, readjust the nose, and I had put some little marks here and there to, to remember exactly what needs to be done. So by doing this, I'm kind of not rushing into corrections, I'm keeping it for later. And it can be a good thing to not rush too much because after you come back from your break, sometimes you, uh, you can rush into making the corrections and they're generally not the right corrections. But another way your brain can make you feel that something uh, is distorted in your paintings is in a negative way. Your painting starts to feel wrong when in reality nothing is really wrong with it. But this is the, like, the artist curse in a way that you look at the thing for so long that I mean, you start to really hate it. I don't know exactly what's happening in the brain. I don't know exactly what's wrong when you feel this way. Like the painting has been fixed. Nothing needs to be changed anymore. It's what you always wanted it to be. And still, you kind of hate it. I don't know exactly why, but it can happen because you, You've been staring at this thing for so damn long that you can, you kind of start to, to hate it. You kind of start to, to see mistakes everywhere. You feel that, oh no, this is not right. This is not right. When in reality, it's, it's perfectly fine. So, well, that's the, the kind of opposite way, the negative, the negative feelings that can happen if you don't have a fresh, perspective. So for this, the only solution is to give it some time to let it stay for a couple of days and come back later. Start something new, start a new project, uh, let your painting be for a while, let it dry, don't look at it for a couple of days and, and most probably when you'll come back to it later, you well, it's going to feel better. But yeah, this is something that can happen. 
you've been staring at it for so long that you can feel you can start to feel that that everything is wrong with it it's kind of normal don't worry about it and try to get out of this this un uncomfortable zone all right thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it if you did please leave a like so that you can inform everyone that you like this video as always don't hesitate to subscribe and uh, don't forget this little bell thing it's really important if you want to have all the notifications for the new videos coming on the channel as always guys have fun drawing have fun painting and i see you for the next one